Hi everyone, this is Melinda from MTZ Crew Designs. Welcome back to another tutorial from the Paint Couture Creative Team. Today I'll show you how this beautiful, vibrant Frida Kahlo conversation piece was born from this simple brown leather chair. I'll be using Paint Couture's acrylic mineral, chalk style, and luxe metallic paints, along with some metallic glaze. So let's get right into it. This chair has already been prepped with a gentle cleaner, and so today I'll be working with this decoupage tissue paper that has a brilliantly interpreted bold image of Frida Kahlo. Now the paper is too large, so I do need to trim it back a bit. So I'm putting a crease in the paper right where the leather meets the nail heads on the edge of the frame. So by doing this, it will help me gauge where I need to trim the paper. Okay, I've turned the paper over and now I'm using my water misting bottle to spray along the areas where I've creased the paper. Then I'm going to tear the paper in that same area and I'll do this around all four sides of the paper. This is what it looks like when I'm done and this is perfectly fine because I'll be blending paint into these areas with the torn edges. Now that the paper is ready to be adhered to the leather, the first thing I'm going to do is paint a layer of Simply White from the chalk style line onto the fabric. Having the color white underneath your decoupage paper allows the image to be crisp and bright once it's adhered. You can see I'm using my water misting bottle sparingly here. I use very little water when I'm painting fabric. It's really just used to move my paint if I need to. And now I'm just going to allow this paint to dry completely. Next, I'm going to use a wallpaper adhesive to glue the paper down to the leather fabric. However, you can use any of the Paint Couture top coats to adhere a decoupage paper to your furniture. I just find that wallpaper adhesive works best when I'm working with fabrics. Now you'll see that I am actually working in small sections at a time. So after I put a layer of the adhesive, then I lay a portion of the paper down and I use a small silicone tool to gently push out any air bubbles. I'm going to continue repeating these same steps all the way down to the bottom, just gently pushing out air bubbles um, with the same silicone tool. When I'm finished, I'm going to allow this several hours to dry. I usually leave it overnight and begin painting the next day. Now that it's dry, I'm going to begin starting uh, layers of acrylic mineral paint. I'm just gonna build the layers around the frame. I'm starting with this orange color that is called Firelight. It's a beautiful, bright and vibrant orange that um, actually pairs wonderfully with this theme. Next, I'm going to use my favorite pink, which is Polynesian pink, and then I'll use a deeper mauve color called Sugar Plum to just kind of build some dimension and texture throughout this image. And I'm using a stippling application method in most of these areas because I want it to be more of a grungy look. I'm moving to the back now and I'm using the same stippling motion with the brush because I want the appearance of texture here as well. And I'm using the same exact colors that I used in the front. I'm just building the same colors over and over on top of each other. So the top of the chair is done. And while that dries, I'm going to begin working on the seat of the chair. I'm using this soft pink, it's called French Rose, and it's from the chalk style line. So I'm putting that here in the middle of the seat. And I know it doesn't look like much right now, but with the type of blend that I'm going for, we have to start with a few beginning layers that tend to look a little bit wonky. So my goal here is just to get the paint down and we'll work on the blend here in just a moment. The next color I'm going to add is this beautiful red. It's also from the chalk style line and it's called Barn Door. And I'm just adding that around the edges of the seat, uh, framing this uh, pink color that we've already put down in the middle. Next, I'm going to begin blending these colors. I use a brand new brush and this is where water is actually key to this process. I like to use water with the chalk style paints to help move the paint as I'm blending the colors. You'll see with the, um, the water and the brand new brush, the colors actually start to blend beautifully. And I'm just gonna work my way around the chair with my brush and my water misting bottle, occasionally adding more paint if I need to. And I'm just gonna repeat this until I achieve the look I'm going for. 
This is how the seat of the chair came out after I finished all the blending. When the first layer of paint is dry on fabric, I always use an 800 grit sanding paper to smooth out the paint. It gives the fabric a smooth finish and it actually is quite soft to the touch. Now I'm painting the base of the chair. I've already given the base a good scuff sand and I'm using the acrylic mineral paint in the color sea glass. The acrylic mineral paint has a built-in primer and top coat and it holds up wonderfully. Sea glass is my absolute favorite bluish green turquoise shade. It's going to give this chair a brilliant amount of pop for an edgy and fun theme. Now that the base of the chair is dry, I'm going to start working on the back again. I'm adding this stencil design using antique gold from the Luxe Metallic paint line of paint. This is such a gorgeous shade of gold. And I'm just dry brushing this onto the fabric, which means that I've wiped off the majority of the paint from my brush before I applied it to the fabric. This paint is so well concentrated that a little really goes a long way. Now I'm using a metallic gold paint marker to add some fun details around the back of the chair. Um, I'm being really careful with the uh, placement of this because I don't want to mess up the alignment of the words. I usually start by painting from the middle and I work my way out. So I just wanted to show you that I've painted additional flowers here in Frida's hair to disguise the edges of the paper where it was trimmed. It's blended all the way to the corners now. Now I'm using uh, antique gold again from the Luxe Metallic line to paint the nail heads used along the edges of the fabric. Um, I always put two layers of this paint on metal materials just for added vibrancy and durability. After the base of the chair has been completely dry for several hours, I add a gold metallic glaze over the sea glass. Um, this glaze color is called Gold Bricade. And I work in small sections with the glaze and apply it liberally. Then I let it sit for just a few minutes and then I wipe it back with a cotton cloth. You can apply and remove however much you want though. I love the look of this gold glistening through the crevices of wherever I've applied it. So I apply quite a bit and I leave quite a bit, uh, but it's such a fun detail to add. The last step is to seal my fabric. I use top coat in this satin finish, but I only use it on the fabric. It's not needed on the base of the chair because the glaze is very durable on its own. These are all the products that I used for this chair redesign. And that wraps it up for today. Again, I'm Melinda from MTZ Crew Designs. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and please let me know what you think in the comments below. And if I've inspired you to think about redesigning a chair of your own, please feel free to use my affiliate link that will be located down below along with a full list of all the products that I use today. Or you can scan this QR code and it will take you directly to the website. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the amazing content that our Paint Guitar Creative team is putting together for you. Have a most awesome day, everyone. Bye.